<laughs> all of a sudden these large municipalities are like, well, we're going to have to have emissions everywhere. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking we won't have emissions. Food. <laughs> now, you would disagree with me, but I actually have some innovations that would prevent. In fact, would, oh, my gosh, look at this. <laughs> Veterans of Foreign Wars. <laughs> For a strong America, July 2018, <laughs> Agent Orange Poach. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm, I've heard about it. I've never, I've never had the experience myself. <laughs> now, <laughs> I was just looking at this magazine. Yes, <laughs> there's a lot of, uh, of veterans, is there? <laughs> get those locations for me. Get the employees at every location. Get me the actual. <laughs> Vehicles that went through emissions, then find out why it was they were no longer required to go through emissions, and then what locations ended up owning them. I don't think we need more emissions locations. I think we have a need for no emissions at all. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> now, um, young legionnaire shines at the Pentagon. Oh. <laughs> Uh, the working office of Secretary of Defense at the Pentagon is mm -hmm. senior airman in the Air Force. Oh, oh, oh. After graduating in 2014, he joined the Air Force and was accepted in the prestigious Air Force Honor Guard, one of nine out of more than 700 applicants. You, there's, you get 700 applicants to want to be in the Air Force Honor Guard, and only nine of them are able to get into that? Yes. They're all Air Force personnel. Yes. <laughs> you have to apply uh, once uh, you've joined the Air Force to be in some part of the Air Force. Now, let me see. He joined the Air Force and was accepted into the prestigious Air Force Honor Guard. So he joined the Air Force. Right. <laughs> and then there was an acceptance above and beyond just the Air Force to be in the Air Force Honor Guard. Yes. <laughs> How many different jobs can you apply for in the military after you've been accepted to be in the military? <laughs> now, I have a difficult time understanding this. Maybe somebody could call a general in the Air Force. Mm -hmm. Let's say you volunteer to a list in the Air Force, right? <laughs> and you have a special program, right? for different individuals that have been accepted to be enlisted in the Air Force. Yes. And uh, they're they're making an application to be in a very special Air Force Honor Guard. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why does the Air Force not just decide who gets to do what in the Air Force? I mean, if you looked at every job for the last 40 years that you get to have in any branch of the military, Why the fuck is it? <laughs> now I know. I would think that any enlisted person in the United States Air Force could be in the Honor Guard because... Every employee of the United States Air Force is equal <laughs> in a lot of ways. <laughs> but it sets up this type of supremacy system. Yes, it does. <laughs> so I just wanted to go through all the enlistments in the United States military for the last 40 years. <laughs> and then I wanted to know, of all of those that enlisted, <laughs> how many of them had to apply for any job in the military after they had already been accepted? 